Today I'll show you how you can use the new AirPrint Activator version 2.1 uh, to actually um, share your printers in a way that they are visible and that you are able to use them to print from your iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad. Once you've downloaded the application, what you need to do is double click on the zip file which will then uncompress the application. Now you have a folder containing the application itself. Uh, what you can do with it is you can drag it to the applications folder uh, if you want, or you can put anywhere you would like to. It depends on your taste. For this demo, I'll leave the application on the desktop. So if I open the folder, you'll find inside the main file AirPrint Activator and there's also a subfolder uh, called Helper that contains a little file that we'll see what to do with it in uh, uh, the next uh, or during the presentation. So to pr share printers, um, first thing you need to do is you need to actually go in um, System Preference and you need to actually uh, open the print and scan uh, configuration screen and you'll see here that I've got one printer and right now it's not shared. The option you're going to need to toggle on is share this printer on the network and just to be sure that everything is uh, shared properly and as you can see here something is not quite right you need to click also on the sharing preference and you're going to have to make sure that you're also enabling printer sharing. Now, everything should be fine uh, to actually share printers with AirPrint Activator. So going back now, you'll see that that warning message is gone. And we can now close this print and scan screen. The next thing you need to do is just to fire up AirPrint Activator. As you will see, it's by default turned up. What you're going to need to do to start printing is click on the switch to toggle it on. And now that printer we had on the list is now going to show with a prefix of APA standing for Air Print Activator and then the printer name and at which computer is actually sharing this printer. So that's all there is to it. Now the printer should be available uh, for printing on your Mac. Now, if the printer is not connected via USB, like it is in my case, and you have a firewall, the OS6 firewall turned on, you're gonna need to do one more thing. So you're gonna have to go back to your system preferences, and you're gonna need to go uh, under the sharing, or sorry, the uh, uh, security and privacy section. And you're going to need to go under firewall. I'm going to have to log on to authenticate to my system. And you're going to need to go under advanced. And here, you see I already did the work, but on your system, it's likely that you're not going to see this APA Redeer listed. So what you'll need to do is click on the plus sign and navigate to wherever you've decided to locate your application. So you're going to need to go, and in this case, it's sitting on the desktop, and you're going to need, you're going to, need to go open up the folder go under helper and select AP Redeer and click add. Now I've added a second copy so it, there's no point in my case I'm just going to get rid of that but in your case that's all there will be to make sure that uh, you will be able to print um, properly if you're running with your OSX firewall turned on. You click OK and then you can exit. A uh, couple more tricks if you turn AirPrint Activator off, 
and you go under the advanced settings. Here you can actually change a prefix. So if you wanted to change it to say, uh, let's say, I don't know, Bob, instead of AirPrint Activator, you just change it, you save it, and when you fire it on, now you're gonna see Bob as the prefix instead of the uh, default APA. I'm gonna change that back. Now you can also uh, tell AirPrint Activator to only share locally attached printers. So if you have uh, printers that are on the network and that are not locally shared uh, by your Mac, uh, this option will only share the printers that you are sharing on your Mac. If not, any printers that AirPrint Activator will see advertised on the network will end up being re-advertised or be shown on your iPod, iPod Touch, or iPhone devices. These are these other options, the Activate Daemon Auto Erase. It's something you really don't need to test or to play with. It was uh, it's more something for troubleshooting purpose. And the Activate Daemon Restart. This is a function if, for example, when you're using AirPrint Activator, you notice that you are losing some of the printer from the list, minutes or hours. You could try to turn on Activate Daemon Restart to force AirPrint Activator to reload the printer list every 10 minutes so it's always fresh. And if there was a printer dropped within this 10 minute, then it's going to be quickly re-advertised. So, this is the crash course in how to share a printer using AirPrint Activator, and I hope it uh, gets you going.